welcome back to my channel. I really hope you had a beautiful Christmas and holiday season. As you can see, I still got my Christmas tree, Weihnachtsbaum. I got some flowers as well, Blume. And yeah, oh, you could just see the post uh, car bringing more presents, it seems like. This one I got from my mother. She knitted it herself. Isn't it cool? Okay, anyway, let's do this. The 10 most common mistakes people do when trying to speak Swiss German. Let's do this! First of all, really important. How to say hi the formal way. A lot of people, they say Grüezi. Grüezi? No. Mm -mm. If you say Grüezi, most people here would think, hmm, is this a German person? Or did you just learn German and now you try to speak Swiss German? Because we don't ever say Grüezi. Instead, we say, listen, Grüezi. Grüezi. That's why we write the word with an E after the U. Grüezi, not Grüezi. Got that? Okay, next one, number two. Saying thank you. Okay, so in German you would say Danke vielmals. But that doesn't mean that in Swiss German you say Danke vielmals. Instead, you say Danke vielmal. You don't ever say the S at vielmals. You say vielmal. Danke vielmal. I read that so often when I read my comments. A lot of people write Danke vielmals. Well, it's proper German, but it's not proper Swiss German. Okay? Or if you want to be even more Swiss, you could say Merci vielmal. So as you can see, we mix French and Swiss German. But that makes you sound like a real professional Swiss German speaker. Merci vielmal. Next time when you comment, please write Merci vielmal. People would think, wow, how long has this person been to Switzerland? Okay, number three. Oh, three, sorry. If you want to tell people where you come from, some people sometimes say, Ich komme aus Spanien. Ich komme aus Italien. Ich komme aus Indonesien. Well, this could be correct in German, ich komme aus Italien. But if the country ends with EN, if the country ends with EN, my daughter just coming to interrupt. <laughs> ich komme aus Italien, no. In German, you would say, ich komme aus Italien. But as I said, if the country ends with EN, we don't say nor write the N at the end. Instead, we say, ich komme aus Italien. Ich komme aus Spanien. Ich komme aus Indonesien. So don't right nor say the end at the end the end at the end i'm sorry okay got that next one number four okay so this one is pretty similar to the previous one for example if you want to talk about your hobbies i made a video about this check it out so i saw a lot of people doing Always the same kind of mistakes. And again, people said, for example, Mini hobbies sind lassen, riten, 
schwimmen. No, here it's the same as before. We don't write nor say the N at the end. If the verb ends with a EN, we just skip the N at the end. So you would say, Mini hobbies sind lasse, schriebe, rite. Not lassen, schrieben, riten. Okay, got that? Really? Or not? Just let me know. Raise your hand. I can't really see you. Anyway, seems fine. Okay, next one, number five. So this one is a tricky one. The relative pronouns. In English, those are who, which, or that. In German, der, die, das, den, deren. So, guess what? Swiss German has no relative pronouns. Instead, we use the all-purpose word wo. So, if you would like to say the car that just passed by. In German, you would say das Auto, das gerade vorbeigefahren ist. Das Auto, das gerade vorbeigefahren ist. In Swiss German, we don't say das Auto, das gerade vorbeigefahren ist. We don't say das Auto, das gerade vorbeigefahren ist. Instead, we say das Auto, what was the word? Wo grad verbiegfahren ist. Das Auto, wo grad verbiegfahren ist. Another phrase like the tree that stands in the garden. In German you would say der Baum, der im Garten steht. In Swiss German, you don't say the Baum de im Garten steht. Instead, we say the Baum. What's the word? Yes, exactly. The Baum wo im Garten steht. The Baum wo im Garten steht. Got that? Okay, number six. This one is really an insider knowledge. You have to keep that in mind. It's really something very special about our language. We have certain verbs which are doubled if they are used with another verb. And the verbs are come and go. Kommen und gehen. So, for example, if you want to say Ich gehe tanzen, that's the German phrase, ich gehe tanzen. In English that would be I go dancing. Ich gehe tanzen. I go dancing. In Swiss German we don't say ich gang tanzen. Instead we say ich gang go tanzen. Gang go. So gang which is gehen or go becomes Gong, go, don't say. Don't ask me why and who invented that, but just learn it by heart. Ich gang go danze. Another sentence. In German, ich komme dich besuchen. I'll come visit you. We don't say, ich komm dich besuchen. Ich komm dich besuchen, no. Instead, we say, ich komm dich go besuchen. Hum becomes hum ho. Two verbs. Hum ho. Ich hum dich ho psuecher. No idea why, but just keep that in mind to sound real Swiss. So, next one is number seven already. Oh my god, noun cases. I'm sure you must love that if you try to learn German. Noun cases, very hard. One of the most difficult cases is the genitive, isn't it? 
in German. But I have good news for you because Swiss German lacks the genitive case. It lacks. We don't have it. Instead, we use dative. Okay, let me explain. For example, if you want to say der Hut des Bruders, der Hut des Bruders, my brother's hat, we would say der Hut vom Bruder, not der Hut des Bruder. We don't have that. We just say vom. If the following word is female, we say fo de, fo de or vom. Der Hut vom Bruder, der Hut fo de Schwester, from the sister, fo de, okay? For example, Die Lehrerin korrigiert die Fehler der Studenten. The teacher corrects the students' mistakes. We would say, die Lehrerin korrigiert die Fehler von der Studentin. Because Studentin is female, von der. If it, he was a male student, we would say, vom Student. Okay? So... Number eight, and that's a quick one. A lot of people, they think bike in, or Fahrrad in German. In Swiss German would be Fahrrad. No, we don't say Fahrrad. We say Velo. Velo. That's a Helvetism, an important one. Okay? Velo for Fahrrad in German. Okay, number nine. Another Helvetism is instead of Frühstück or breakfast in English, we say, we don't really say Frühstück. Instead, we say Zmorge. Zmorge. Zmittag, that's for lunch. Znacht, for dinner. Zmorge, Zmittag, because it's in the midday. Zmittag, Znacht, because it's at night. Nacht. Znacht. Zmorgen, zmittag, znacht. We also have znüni at nine o'clock, znüni or zfieri at four o'clock. For the kids, maybe. Okay, the last one. You got it. The last one, number ten. A very common thing we do here if we want to make something smaller than it is. Um, in German, you say, for example... Büchlein or Häuschen. We don't say Chen or Lein. Instead, we always just add Li. Büch, Li. Hüs, Li. Um, Müsli, Mouse. Mäuschen in German is Müsli. Okay, that was it. If you know of any other mistake people do or you keep doing, please write it in the comments. And don't forget to watch my other videos to become even better at Swiss German. Bye, see you! Ich bin fertig!